I just bought the cheapest gaming PC on Amazon. This entire PC only cost $115 and I'm about to show you why. Okay, it actually comes with a keyboard and mouse, so I'm actually really surprised about that because it didn't even say it would. And also, of course, the power cable. But inside the box, of course, what we're really caring about is the actual PC. All right, let's just throw that over there. And the reason this PC is so cheap is because it doesn't have a GPU. So it has a Core i5, 6500, and eight gigabytes of RAM, which really aren't that bad if it had a GPU. So it's basically completely relying on the CPU and that's the reason it's so cheap. I think this is my first PC I've ever bought that actually doesn't even have a GPU in it. So I don't even know if you can consider it a gaming PC, but I'm actually curious to see how like bad it actually is. I mean, this is exactly like one of the computers you would have at school, but it just has some RGB on it and they call it a gaming PC. That's basically what's going on here. But when I try it out, I might be more surprised, but I'm not expecting that much. Okay, for the mouse though, I think this is the typical one that I always see with this these kind of cheaper PCs. Yeah, it's the exact same mouse. It's called STG and it doesn't have like any side buttons. It is a simple RGB mouse. So I actually probably will plug that in. I'm assuming the keyboard's gonna be the same. All right, for the keyboard, probably a RGB mechanical or not mechanical membrane keyboard. Yep, I have like three or four versions of this keyboard, bro. Okay, if you guys haven't seen it before and are curious, this is how it is. I mean, not a terrible keyboard. I would not consider this for gaming, but it's, it's nice that they include one though. I mentioned that there's RGB RGB on the PC and it actually is just like two RGB strips over on the front here. So let me just plug it in and see just how like bright it actually is. Also, just so you know, whenever I do these videos, they send these like really, really short power cords. It's like not even three feet. So just if you guys are buying the PC, you might want to get a longer power cord. Okay, so let's power on just like that. I think it should be on, right? Wait, do we have to actually turn it on with this? I, I mean, I see the little light right here. Wait, let me see if it's spinning. Okay, wait, let's just open the side panel and see like what's going on there. Yeah, I mean, it is on. The fan is literally spinning. And we can take a look at the cable management real quick. Not actually the worst I've seen. And we only have one stick of eight gigabytes of RAM. So that's not even that good, really. So yeah, already judging by how everything in the PC is, we're not going to be getting that much performance. But I mean, we only did pay $100 for it. I mean, the mouse and also the keyboard, I just plugged them in and they have some RGB. It's really, really hard to tell on camera, but you can still see it has RGB. I don't know why this doesn't though. I actually would not be surprised if they didn't plug it in. I don't think it will change when I actually plug it in, but let's just plug in this entire PC into like an entire setup and monitor and just see how this PC actually performs. Before we continue, I just found this really cool map called Eclipse GG, which is basically an AI clipping tool. One of the hardest parts when doing content creation is actually the editing process because it's so time consuming, but with Eclipse, you can have it automatically done for you. All you have to do is connect your account and then you can select from your YouTube videos or any of your streams, depending on if it's on Twitch, Twitch, YouTube, or any other platforms, and it will convert it into short form content like YouTube Shorts or TikToks. I actually just added one of my recent YouTube videos in it, and it created a ton of AI generated clips for me. Using AI, it automatically will clip some of your kills, wins, funny moments, and much more. They also make it really easy to customize all of your clips because they have their own templates, and also some games have specific graphics for them. By far, my favorite feature though is just that it has automatic subtitles because it just saves so much time. It also helps to actually promote growth on your platforms because you're able to add a channel tag on the TikTok or YouTube short. Then once you're done with all the edits, you can just confirm it and post it to all of your socials. The best part about it is that it's completely free. So make sure to check out eclipse.gg with the first link in the description or pinned comment. And again, huge thanks to Eclipse for sponsoring this video. Okay, so I was just setting up this entire like PC and everything. And as you can see, it's like a mess. Like I have two monitors here. I've just been trying to connect it. And the first problem I encountered with this PC is like the RGB light just weren't working at all, which was kind of weird. And you can see like, even when I press the power button up here, I'm gonna press it right now, the fan turns on, but there's no RGB and then there's just no signal. Right now it's supposed to be like plugged into this monitor, but there's just no signal in any of them. Like I have the display port cable connected into this one. I'm trying also the HDMI cable, as you can see, it's like really old ports here and there's no graphics card. So I just don't know, bro. This PC just does not want to work. And yeah, it just says cable not connected. It's all connected. I've tried with two monitors. This PC is literally just faulty. So I'm gonna have to return it and try and buy another one. And another thing, this is not even the same case that was displayed in the Amazon photo. The power button in the picture is actually all the way down here. So I have no idea what's going on here, but this PC, just something is wrong with it. And I'm not gonna try and figure it out. All right, it's been over a week and it actually did end up being the PC they 
send me a brand new one and you can clearly see the RGB lights actually work and the actual remote too works because like if I click like any specific color the whole PC changes color so yeah it actually ended up being the PC which is the first time I've actually had a PC sent to me that doesn't really work but now it's time for the actual test of how much FPS this $115 PC gets all right this is my complete first impressions of this actual PC and just judging by the actual loading times it's definitely not going to be a lot of FPS we're probably going to have to go down to 720p and we're on performance mode like all those settings right now it is lagging how I kind of thought it would but I honestly thought it would maybe do it a little bit more even actually like of course it's going to be lagging when building but for it to be peaking at like 50 that's actually surprising me like this is by no means like an enjoyable experience like an old gen console I'm just going to keep it a buck an old gen console is like better than this but I thought I was going to barely be able to build but I can actually like build like a really inconsistent 40 FPS is what we're getting it's playable that's all I'll say but this is on my zero delay Fortnite map so in game this is actually going to be torture we're going to be getting like Nintendo Switch FPS here okay let's go in game and I'm giving early predictions of about 30 FPS really inconsistent and when dropping off the battle bus probably like 10 yeah so right now in the loading lobby it's definitely more laggy like it's dropping down to 10 15 FPS right now okay I'm in normal pub lobbies all low settings like everything low meshes performance mode 1080p though well I'll try how playable this is if it's really really bad in game which it seems like it's pretty hard to play I might drop it down to 720p it's literally getting 5f 3 FPS on the low as I drop if we run into any semi decent player we're we're actually done here Dude, there's someone right there okay we have an RPG yep easy kill easy I'm really curious I'm gonna probably bump it down to 720 like I've been saying and see if that helps oh wait we're getting naded okay I'm low-key gonna dip for now I just want to check if I can make this better because this is really hard I think on camera when you can even tell a lag there's a lot of lag that's how you know it's like oof it's terrible massive frame drop here Oh, did we just crash? We might've just crashed. Yeah, I've had this black screen for like 10 seconds now. There's no way I didn't crash right now. Yeah, Fortnite crash report. Yeah, I did. Dude, I'm literally trying to close out Fortnite and like open task manager to end this and it literally like won't close at all. Okay, this is attempt number two. This is probably honestly even worse than Nintendo was because the Nintendo got like 30 FPS and it wasn't super consistent, but it didn't drop this far down. This is probably like probably the worst thing I've reviewed. Viewed. I think this guy's inside the house. I can't even tell 100%. Oh wait, he's right under this. Oh my gosh, it's so laggy. Okay, we're at 720p now. Does this help out at all? Oh my, okay, I think it's literally just when I switch it, it crashed again. Bro, how does this, oh my gosh, bro, this is so bad. Okay, it definitely is better. Like in the lobby, it definitely, I was able to notice that it was higher, but on camera, it doesn't look that much worse quality. Definitely like, I mean, it's not as good, obviously, since it's 720p, but this probably is a lot more playable because now at least it's not lagging like down to like seven FPS. We're getting like a, a lows at 15 while skydiving. I'm just gonna spam every one bro that's my game plan for right now right here yep easy oh my oh yo we're gonna crash i'm calling it bro on old gen consoles you can even watch youtube videos oh my gosh the aim my, the aim is terrible this looks like a real player actually yeah this is definitely a real player yep 28 oh whoa 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 whoa, whoa. 35 one in, yeah there we go Oh my gosh, bro. It's so... Okay, I guess I can't win. I just need a gun, bro. And no way this guy's pushing me, bro. Yep, he's right there. Right here. Oh my... Wrong, wrong thing. Wrong thing. Wrong thing. My whole inventory was messed up. I literally almost just suicided myself there, bro. If you really wanted to make this PC better, even the most basic, basic graphics card you could get, it would help it a million times because like this PC literally doesn't have a graphics card. That's why it's struggling so hard. So if you put literally, even if you were on a super like tight budget and you knew basic things about a PC, you could definitely, this guy's one HP, by the way. Wait, let me just kill him real quick. Bro, he's literally one. Okay, there we go. Okay, even if you like bought this PC and put like a 50 or $60 used like graphics card, it definitely would be able to like perform pretty decently. Like it, it would not be bad at all. Yeah, when you start building, it even starts lagging more, bro. Holy, what's this guy doing in the back? Oh my, yo, the scope is so blurry. Do y'all see this? He's one HP. 
He's literally one. Okay, there we go. Dude, are they actually default skins because it's not loading for me? I think that's why they're default skins is because it's literally not rendering for me their skin at all. But yeah, I actually think they are default skins. Oh, someone on my back. Yo, I just need some shield, bro. Oh my dinked. One HP. He's literally one. Oh, easy kill. Yeah. Oh, wait, it's even one mini. It's not even full set. Oh my, yo. That's why I need headphones because I can't even tell when I'm... Okay, this is definitely a real player. Definitely a sweat, bro. My strat... Yo, I literally just need to jump at his face. Oh my gosh, bro. It's so laggy. I can't. I actually can't. It's even freezing when spectating. As always, though, if you guys still are interested in this PC, since it is really budget-friendly, I will have it linked down below. And if you watched all the way to the end of this video, that means you had to have enjoyed the video. So if you want to, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated if you dropped a quick sub. And if you're already subbed, a like is really, really appreciated and helps the channel out a lot. YouTube recommends both the videos up on the screen right now. And yeah, that's about it. God bless.